New York has a reputation for romance. It's an ideal spot for a date or a honeymoon. But it's not just people who come here for love. Each spring, these beaches host another species' romantic encounters. Horseshoe crabs are one of nature's oldest surviving species. They live on the ocean's floor, but to mate, they must come ashore. The females have tremendous numbers of eggs. I mean, they can have, you know, tens of thousands of eggs that they can deposit. And the other males, if they grab on, they will, at least if they get pulled over, they'll try to get their shot in as well and deposit a little sperm so that hopefully some of their genetic material gets mixed in with the eggs. The crab's mating strategy obviously works. Their species has been around since the days of the dinosaurs. Some have been coming to the same beaches for thousands of years. But breeding near New York is getting harder. Something's very wrong. See that? I don't know. I mean, usually when they're that color, they don't develop. But these are, these are, these are safe and protected at depth. Usually, when they turn any color except green, um, there's, they either have a fungal infection or a bacterial infection, so I want to take them back because I want to see. As cities like New York expand, beaches like these are disappearing. But like New Yorkers, horseshoe crabs are survivors. Just looking at the condition of this beach, this is about as urban a beach as you're going to find. And um, one of the things that tends to remind me about this crab is you, it's been around, the species alone, for over 20, 25 million years. And you sometimes wonder how does the species last that long or even longer. And when you see that a, a horseshoe crab can still be resilient enough to come up on such an urban beach with bottles, with, gla you know, with glass, it's certainly not an ideal place. But they still come up here, they reproduce, it, it makes you understand the resiliency of, of nature and certainly of this species in particular.